friends welcome to this new video so in this video we are going to learn one new trick based on excel or we can say google sheet so i know many of us are having habit whenever we are creating a numbered list we used to drag it down for example we are creating serial numbers here one two right so let's say two is not there if we drag one so it will return only one 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 because there is no sequence right so we have habit to drag it so instead of this what you uh, other people do they will type two here and they'll just drag okay so they'll get numbers but there is another way apart from this to create a numbered list okay and that is dynamic so what we can do okay instead of dragging down we can use same uh, sequence formula okay so what we'll do we'll type is equals to sequence it will return a uh, numbers so how many rows you want let's say we want uh, the numbers till 10 so in bracket i'll type 10 and i'll hit enter so i'll get 10 but it is not dynamic because see uh, for example if i add one more thing here let's say meetings only okay so all these are meetings and if I add here again meeting, so it will not return 11 because we have uh, written the formula till only 10th number, right? Sequence and in bracket 10. So what if we want 11 here when we add something? Okay, so for that, we will make all these things dynamic. So what we can do, okay? So I'll just delete these particular numbers. So this will not, yeah. So basically, I have to remove this particular formula. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, for a dynamic, what we will do, we will type is equals to, again, sequence formula we will go, we are going to use. So in sequence, we will use count number of items present in column F. Right. So is equals to count A. I'll select F to F okay so basically it will return a number so if i hit enter okay it will return 12 but only 11 items are here so why it is returning 12 because there are 12 things written in column f so we have task also here right so it is counting that as well so we will just modify the formula so we will type minus one here okay so if you enter now we have 11 numbers now let's say we are adding one more task here that is lunch so it will return 12 like this okay then again if we add meetings so 13 now I just want to know how many of us are there in our community who drags and how many are there in our community who use this dynamic formula I just want to know okay so thank you guys for watching this particular video i hope you will like this particular trick right so we are going to learn new new tricks daily okay i am also going to launch one power bi dashboard soon i am working on it okay so thank you for joining